Hey guys, it's Gav here, and I'm just about to head home, and I thought, you know what? I should go live and talk to guys on YouTube because I haven't been live in a while. Hey, there goes a cop. There goes a sheriff. He's not coming here, though. They don't want to talk to me. Hey, guys, I see you there, and I'm going to give you something today to chew on, and I want some input from you guys, okay? So listen, I posted a video yesterday. Posted a video I actually live streamed a video last night on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash call me Gav. Head over there and like that, all right? But it was a video about loving our neighbors and using that and getting our message and helping people to listen to us and get our message out, okay? But, hey guys, I see you all in there. Jesse, I see you. Shout out to all you guys for tuning in live. Awesome sauce. Now, you can watch the video I posted yesterday. I uploaded it to the channel last night. I'm just down here at my studio right now. Not in any trouble at the moment. Cops are always driving by here, but uh, around here they, they try to stay away from me and, and that's fine with me. But I get emails from you guys a lot, which I appreciate, but it's, it's hard sometimes. I wish I could do more a lot of times because I hear from you guys and you're saying, oh, I'm getting abused or this is happening or that's, that's happening. And I hope to give you something today to help you Thanks, Jose, to help you get your message out, okay? Because this is not about YouTube celebrities. This is about, about truth, it's about freedom. And so, you know, I have a following on YouTube because I do things, I do activism, right? But sometimes I think my words have power. I know that sometimes my words have power because I'm not afraid to speak the truth. I'm not afraid to just candidly tell people like it is. And I, I always try to not do that with, with hate, but I speak the truth. Thanks, Gage. So how do you get your message out? That's where I'm going. I'm not here to talk about how I make videos so much as how you can get your message. Because I get emails from you guys and maybe you're dealing with something in your county or your city or some corruption, right? And sometimes you send me your videos of things that are going on and I try to watch those. I try to see what's going on in your neck of the woods as you expose corruption in your communities. The problem that we're having is there's so much content out there and give, getting that content out is really hard. In yesterday's video, I talked about, on my, on my Facebook and then uploaded to the channel here, I talked about how to make a simpler message, right? How to make a message that, that has power in the words. How to record a video and tell your story, but do that in a way that doesn't make it all about you, that expands that narrative and has power. How to show rather than tell, right? If you can record a cop, you always do that because if something goes wrong, that recording is showing what happened instead of you coming back later. You coming back later and telling what happened. But there's another thing, and it goes to the title of this video. I'm gonna keep this short. You must think about this if you really want your messages to get out. If you make YouTube videos, or maybe you think you should, you wanna live stream. The words you use on your video are important. The open, the middle, the close, the words having power, having compassion, having, having principle in them, that has power. But I want you to start looking around. All of you guys, where are you guys at? Everybody shout out. What are you doing right now tonight? Where are you at? Some of you are probably at the store. Some of you are probably getting off work. I'm out here in Pacific time, so it's just around sunset, okay? All this stuff. Everybody's doing different things. I want you to look around as you're relaxing or driving or going to the store or, or whatever, holding a, holding a, sipping on a, on a beer or a cup of coffee, right? I want you to look at the words that are being used around you. I want you to look at the words. Now I'm a marketing guy. It, my, my business, the way I sell my products over at simestudios.com, I'm in photography and I make software and things like that. And, and marketing is my day-to-day -day effort for my own business to keep my business thriving. And I don't get rich off it, but I, I pay the bills. It's certainly not from donations, okay? Video editing, that's good. You look at people that make good videos, whether they're political videos like activism videos like mine or just entertaining videos like Rhett and Link or Casey Neistat, what do you always see, right? There's good video, there's good editing, but what do you always see, guys? You see a title. You see it on billboards. You see it on marketing. You see it on, on bills for tyranny. You see a title. 
You see a headline. You see a message. See, the title is a con the condensation of your message. All right? So if you take that title and you think about that. Now, what I want you to think about if you make a video. Okay, let's say somebody give me a scenario. Somebody give me a scenario of corruption. Either either something that's happening to you or something you've seen or something like that, right? Give me a scenario. And I see this a lot. I get emails, and I, and I actually will tell people titles sometimes, all right? But it's something personal. Let's say you're prosecuted. Let me do one. So let's make it local. Let's make it personal. You were stopped and, and, and harassed by the police and arrested because you had a burnout taillight. And you said something the cop didn't like, and next thing you know, you're charged with three felonies. You know how often I get emails like this, guys? All the freaking time. Okay, the officer searched me when I didn't consent. the The jail cavity searched me. the They they took my blood, right? So let's say let's. There's one right. We hear these stories about these militaristic police. Yes, militaristic police stopping people at DUI checkpoints and forcefully doing a blood draw. Now this is happening in America. It's absolute perverted insanity from fake terrorist law enforcement. And because all our cops are bad cops, even the ones that don't believe in it won't step up and stop it. Now, I see this a lot. So this happens to somebody, right? And they say, okay, the cops drew my blood. And they might send me an email and say they did this, and then they charged me with that because I told them they couldn't draw my blood, and next thing I know I was being tased, right? These are narratives that some of us have experience with. And if not, you've seen videos about it. So they'll send me this, and, and maybe a lot of times they didn't film the encounter to start with. Okay, so the first error in, in the message was that you always film the encounter, right? If I'm rolling up and it looks like, if I even suspect there's a checkpoint, if there's police across the road, my camera will be on before I get there, and so should yours be. Practice it. But we're talking about simplifying that title. See, this isn't really marketing school although it kind of is, but I want you guys, whatever you're trying to say, I want your message to get out. The Second Amendment's gone. The First Amendment's gone. We have these rights. They're inherent, but the Constitution is no longer recognized in the courts. Thanks, Sovereign Humanoid, for the super chat. So somebody sends me this email, and this has happened to them. Their blood's been drawn, and they make a video where they're frustrated, and they, it's a 20-minute video, and maybe there's a little snippet of the security camera of what the police did to them, right? And it says, Johnson County Police Abuse Me. Okay? That's not a good title. First of all, it's about you, and nobody cares about you. I care about you, and we should all care about each other, but I'm speaking in terms of how society works. No one cares for the most part. It's unfortunate. We should care. But most people don't. Okay? So, let's change that title. Instead of a 20-minute video, you get on there with some energy and you say, "Guys, I wish I had a video of what these cops did to me." These thugs forcefully with no probable cause cut me open, took my blood, and then charged me with crimes after torturing me with their knives. Now think about how I just worded that versus how you would see it worded. It's an honest, candid approach of your feelings and what happened to you, right? But instead of being like, hi, I'm Gavin, and I just want to I wanna expose the corruption, I want to tell you about the abuse, learn to communicate. Okay, yesterday's video talks about the communication technique, but what's your title? Not, Johnson County Sheriff abuses me. How about, Johnson County Police cut me open. Okay? That's a title. Now, don't just be clickbaity, right? People say, oh, you're just being baity. Guys, a good headline. Benjamin Franklin used good headlines, right? A good headline that represents the story is something you must do. Clickbait is something that doesn't fulfill. The story doesn't fulfill what you told about. Okay? If you can make a ba baity title that's edgy, that is compelling. Just like when you go to a movie or you read the synopsis or you watch a trailer. Guys, there's a zillion videos being made every day. 
If you want your message to get out, if you want to expose the corruption, if you want to help people, if you want your story to get out, then, then stop and think it through. Think about your title. What's in a title? A lot. And over the next week, I want you to look around at the headlines and the titles on news stories and on articles. Watch the ones that are getting attention. Look for the ones that everybody's sharing, and you'll find out that the ones that have the good titles are the ones getting noticed. Now, it's more than just about a title. You can't just throw a baby title on something. And don't do that. Don't do a deceptive title that, that has nothing to do with your video. That just makes people angry. But you can simplify your message and tell your story, and then you can condense that. Your title is your synopsis that tells the world and history what you're exposing. Okay? That has power. That spreads your words. Etan, if that's you, I did get a voicemail uh, earlier, and if that was you, I thank you. Um, but uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you go for today. It's Friday. We all got things to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna be working on on the racks and some lights. I've got a new a new van, very cool van. Uh, a super van that I'm rigging out with racks. It's going to be our road trip vehicle, but there's going to be lots of lights so we can light up the police. And uh, let me make sure we ban anybody that's supporting the terrorists there and trying to troll us in here. And clear that out because the chat room gets all messy in here. Thanks all for listening. Think about a title. Your title is probably wrong on your video. And you should study how to make it better. I know this info is not like super activism or super exciting but I want your guys' words to have power I want your message to get out because I can't get all the messages out John Lamb can't get all the messages out Kelly Stewart can't get all the messages out and so I want you all to learn how to get the message out so we can expose the terrorist government that rules America so we can expose the lies and the deception so we can unite and love our neighbor as ourselves and have liberty back. I do have some more videos that I haven't actually posted yet of some interactions with police, and I know you guys enjoy those. And so I'll try to get another one of those out soon. Uh, I've got a couple from when I was in Utah that are pretty crazy. Um, you can find me over at facebook.com forward slash callmegav or go to callmegav.com. You can get on my newsletter and stuff there, which is not super active. But uh, thanks all for joining in. Have a good one. And we'll, maybe we'll do a Q&A Maybe we'll do a Q&A sometime soon as well. And yes, I do get nervous. But you know what, guys? Courage is not not being afraid. It's being afraid and doing what's right anyhow. Speak. Spread the message. Don't be silent. Say the things that people don't want to hear. Do it with principle and learn how to do it well. Y'all take care.